During the period spanning from the late 8th century to the 11th century, a significant migration of Scandinavians occurred as they departed from their homelands in search of opportunities elsewhere. This transformative event altered the course of history permanently. These daring and skilled seafaring warriors, commonly known as Vikings or Norsemen, engaged in extensive activities such as large-scale raiding, colonisation, conquest and trade throughout Europe. Despite the reliance on oral transmission, partial observation and runic inscriptions to document their history, much remains shrouded in mystery and subject to speculation regarding the captivating lives of these conquerors. In this video, I'll explore how the Vikings' dedication to cleanliness, their luxurious and styled hair, and their all-over body tattoos challenge the stereotypical image that we've grown accustomed to. Just before we get into the video, I just want to thank everyone for your continued support. Um, unfortunately, I'm a little bit unwell at the minute, and you can probably hear it in my voice. Uh, but thank you for your ongoing support. If you want to make me feel better, please like, subscribe to the video, and wish me well in the comments. Let's get into it. Unlike the prevailing norms in the Romanized world, Norse culture did not differentiate between male and female ideals of beauty. The same standards applied to both genders, and discussions concerning beauty encompassed both sexes without any implicit sensuality. For instance, a poet could extensively talk about someone's beauty without any assumptions of romantic attraction towards that person. Regarding women, their physical beauty was measured by the fairness of their arms and the length and luster of their hair. The longer, the better. Compared to other European cultures, the Norse societies placed a greater emphasis on cleanliness and hygiene. Archaeological excavations have uncovered various grooming tools, such as metal toothpicks and ear spoons. Viking men took considerable pride in their appearance, adorning themselves with vibrant clothing, jewellery and cloak pins that would be used to showcase their wealth. They were also known to bathe at least once a week, which may seem insufficient by today's standards, but considering that Europeans of that era typically bathed two to three times a year, it was a relatively frequent practice. Norse sweat baths and steam baths, akin to saunas, were popular methods of staying clean. They utilised heated stones and hot spring water to generate steam within their bathhouses. Sweating off dirt and grime was considered a form of cleaning in itself. It appears they extended their cleanliness practices beyond their skin, as one English cleric accused them of changing their clothes too often specifically to corrupt the virtue of married women and entice noblemen's daughters into becoming their mistresses. While we can't speak for all ladies, we can certainly appreciate a man who puts effort into his appearance, even in the midst of conquering a city. Considering the Vikings' meticulousness regarding hygiene and their broad definition of beauty, one might assume that cosmetics played a significant role in their daily lives. Surprisingly, this was not necessarily the case. Ibrahim Ibn Yaqub, apologies for the pronunciation, who visited around 965 AD, mentioned that Viking men and women used some form of permanent cosmetic to enhance the beauty of their eyes. It's highly probable that they lined their eyes with coal, a black powder typically composed of antimony sulfide or lead sulfide, commonly used for makeup purposes. Yacoub's account implies that it was customary for Vikings to apply a foreign substance to alter or enhance their appearance. Therefore, the notion that Vikings painted their faces may not be entirely accurate, especially considering the lack of artistic depiction supporting such claims. Perhaps they were simply too occupied with conquests to find time for elaborate makeup routines. Viking men had various options for hairstyles, including long hair, short hair, or completely shaved heads. They possessed separate brushes for their hair and beards, typically crafted from bone, antler, wood, or ivory. They moisturized their beards using shampoo made from special oils, beechwood ash, and goat fat. Although not particularly enticing for a kiss, these grooming practices ensured their locks remained in perfect order. Among the popular styles of the time was the classic neck-to-shoulder length look. 
a splendid way to display a beautiful head of healthy hair. However, it may have been slightly inconvenient during hand-to-hand -hand combat. Work often interferes with one's desired appearance, but not to worry, Vikings could still maintain a trendy image without long hair. Depictions in wood carvings, such as the Osberg ship and tapestries like the Bayeux tapestry, reveal that some warriors sported short hair on the sides and back of their heads, uh, while others had those areas shaved or cut very close to the skin, leaving a small patch of hair on top. Quite impractical for keeping their heads warm in winter months, but if you're familiar with the TV show Vikings, it's a look that you're probably very familiar with. A notable Viking leader named Svenald even took the reverse mullet to another level by sporting a completely shaved head, except for a long lock of hair on one side. A conversation starter, no doubt. Men's hairstyles were not limited to cutting and styling, but also extended to hair colour preferences. Contrary to popular belief, not all Norsemen were born with blonde hair yet brunettes and redheads could achieve the coveted gold locks that were fashionable during the Viking Age. They achieved this transformation by bathing in a strong soap made with lye, which had the ability to bleach their hair and beards blonde. Perhaps they genuinely believed that blondes had more fun. On the other hand, Norse women seemed to have fewer styling options for their hair compared to their male counterparts. Most women maintained long hair and styled it according to their occupation or social status. So one common hairstyle involved tying their long hair into a single knot at the back of their head, with the loose end hanging down like a ponytail. They also decorated their hair with coloured ribbons braided into their locks, indicating their unmarried status. Conversely, the bun look was often reserved for married women. While the Vikings may not have been keen on using cosmetics, they may have opted for a more lasting form of self-expression, tattoos. This choice aligns with their identity as fearless warriors who face death without hesitation, yet possessed remarkable artistic and craftsmanship skills. They understood the power of intimidation and projected it through their appearance, from the menacing dragon heads adorning their longboats to the ink etched onto their skin. The mere sight of these markings conveyed a sense of power and brutality, often contributing to their victories on the battlefield. Arabic scholars observed that the Russia warriors had tattoos that started at their fingertips and extended up their arms to their necks, while other accounts described tattoos on their arms and chests. The Vikings were known for their larger-than-life approach, so it's no surprise that they went all out with their tattoos. These tattoos were described as having a dark green hue, though it's more likely that the ink appeared dark blue, achieved using wood ash, a common pigment of that era. As for the tattoo designs, uh, the patterns could include trees and animals. Those kind of tattoos would have held deep significance for the Vikings and Norsemen, uh, given their pagan religion. There also would have been tattoos with personal meanings to them that so far down the line it's Im impossible for us to really realise why they would have got them. Um, perhaps there were Vikings who even regretted their tattoos, but the Viking dedication to grooming and appearance reflected the values of their culture as a whole. It's been suggested that their belief in fate played a role, as they never knew when their time would come and wanted to look their best for the afterlife. In a way, the Vikings embody the only live once mentality. So what do you think? Are you inspired to get that dream tattoo sleeve or emulate their style by shaving your head and leaving a braided lock uh, 